Hey folks, welcome back. Today, we're talking about a topic in LLMs called Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. I want to motivate this with a very real example. Let's say that I want to build a chatbot for this YouTube channel where you all can ask it to find videos related to some topic that you're trying to learn. If I thought about the easiest way to do this, I'd definitely just try and use something off the shelf like ChatGPT. After all, it's been trained on the internet where these videos live, and it's proven very useful for answering questions in a relevant way. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Let's ask it. Give me the title of a Ritvik math video I should watch to understand kernel density estimation. Go ahead and ask it, and it says, hey, you should check out the video titled Kernel Density Estimation Explained by Ritvik Math. It provides a clear and intuitive explanation of the concept, so it confidently answers the question. The only problem, folks, is that there is no such video with that title on my channel. And here's an even bigger issue. Let's instead search for a video that definitely does not even exist yet on this channel. Let's go ahead and ask it, hey, give me the title of a Ritvik math video I should watch to understand retrieval augmented generation. Now, that's the video you're watching right now, but when I'm filming this, that video definitely does not exist. And what does it do? It confidently hallucinates, hey, you should look for the video titled Retrieval Augmented Generation Explained by Ritvik Math. It should give you a solid understanding of the topic. This is a real problem, folks, because if I release this chatbot as is, I'd probably lose the trust of a bunch of you who try and use this. Let's go ahead and draw out the diagram for this usual non-RAG solution to see what might be going wrong. So the diagram is pretty simple. The user, who is you, enters the query asking for which video is relevant to your interest. We send that to the underlying LLM, ChatGPT in this case, and we get a response. Now, there's a few issues here. One is that we have to deal with this known issues of LLMs, proudly hallucinating facts that don't exist, as we just saw. Another issue is that any frozen LLM is not going to know about events that happened after it was trained. So if there is in fact a new video on this channel, like when this RAG video does come out, it has no way of knowing about it. And finally, as the user who gets back this faulty response, I have absolutely no idea of why it generated this response, leading to a pretty big interpretability gap. And now we can start talking about how are we gonna solve these things using RAG? RAG, if I was just to explain it in a really, really simple sentence, is that we're just gonna give this LLM a little bit of help. We're going to provide it with some information that it either wasn't trained on or which it incorrectly isn't paying enough attention to, to hopefully get a more correct, up-to-date, and interpretable response at the end of the day. Now, what might this look like? We might start by taking all of the video titles that exist on this channel and first, as a first step, see which ones are decent matches to the user's query. For example, going back to our query about kernel density estimation, which video is right for that one, here's five titles we might be considering. To me, it seems like these three have at least something to do with the topics that are in KDE, such as distributions and probability densities. Let's now append these three titles to the user's original prompt and go ahead and pass that new updated prompt through ChatGPT. And we see that we get the exact right answer in this case. We get that, hey, you should watch the video titled Kernel Density Estimation, Data Science Concepts, which is the exact title of the video on the channel itself, and now it is all correct. Furthermore, we're going to see that this also works for the case where the video doesn't exist. So here we're asking about the right video to understand RAG, which doesn't exist at this point. Let's say that we use our technique, which we'll explain in a second, to get three videos that are the most similar, but really they're not really similar at all. We go ahead and pass that through ChatGPT, and it says, hey, you know what, it looks like there isn't a specific Ritvik math video on RAG in the titles you provided. And that is the exact thing that I would want the chatbot to return in this case to make sure that none of you are getting misled into thinking there is such a video at that time. So let's go ahead and take a visual look at this and how it's different from our non-RAG solution. In the RAG solution, we first start by comparing the user's query to a large document store containing potential information that we want the LLM to pay attention to when generating its response. For us, for this application, that would be a list of every single video title on this channel, and very importantly, that document store would get updated every time a new video is released. But you know what? For your application, it can really be anything. If you're building a chatbot for an online video game website, let's say, where users can ask for a game that's fun, easy, and for the whole family, your document store might be a bunch of reviews of recent video games. Let's say you're building a chatbot to help college students find a cool class that they can enroll in this semester. You might start by taking the entire course catalog for your university, chunking it into sentences or paragraphs, and those might make their way into your document store. And folks, that's the first step, retrieval. 
we find the k most relevant documents in our store for the user's query. Let's just use k equals 3 here for simplicity, but that's something that we can tune. Then we move on to the augmentation step where we augment the user's query with these relevant documents and tell the LLM, hey, you need to pay attention to these documents when you come up with your response. From there, it's the same as the non-RAG solution where we pass this augmented query into the LLM, into ChatGPT, and have it generate a hopefully better response. Now, there's more to be said about each of these pieces in RAG and several extensions to make the solution even better and better. But the most burning question for many of you is probably about the R step, the retrieval step. How exactly do we find the K most relevant documents for the user's query? What does that actually look like in practice? In its most simple form, folks, we can take an off-the-shelf LLM which semantically encodes text into an embedding space. For example, we can use a pre-trained BERT model, but it's really up to you what model you want to use here. Many different choices can work, and probably in practice we should test all of them to find the right one. We pass that user's original query through the BERT model, which gives us an embedding or vector, which in some sense is capturing the semantic meaning of this query. We also pass each document in our document store through this same BERT model and get an embedding per document. Now really quickly, notice that the second part, embedding all the documents, just needs to happen once, and we can store or index all of these documents ahead of time. Then we go ahead and calculate some similarity measure, like cosine similarity, let's say, between the query embedding and the embedding of each document. We rank them descending by this cosine similarity and grab the K documents having the highest cosine similarities. One quick note here is that instead of using k-nearest neighbor, we might use something faster like approximate nearest neighbor, which is going to give us the close to the k-most nearest neighbors, but in a much faster time, because you might have a very, very large document store and full KNN search could take a really long time. So in words, what are we doing here? We're saying, you know what? Let's semantically encode the query in this way. Let's semantically encode all the documents uh, using the same model. And we're going to find the documents who are semantically the best matches to the user's query and that's going to be how we get our retrieval step, how we grab this collection of documents who in some sense seem to be related to the user's query and are good candidates therefore to append or augment our original query with in order to get a better response at the end of the day. So here's a concrete look at how that works. We have this query asking about the right video for kernel density estimation, and we see that the top three documents do contain the right video title at the end of the day. Although I should point out here that it's only in second place and not first place, which points to some improvements we can probably make to this retrieval process, maybe changing out the model, maybe adding a couple of extra steps for ranking these in the right order, but we see that we're good to go for right now. Then we go ahead and augment the original query with these three video titles, and we ask ChatGPT to generate a response based on the augmented query, and this time it is totally correct, as we saw before. And folks, that is RAG in a nutshell. Obviously, a lot more to be said here around specifics and extensions, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, folks, please like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see all you wonderful, wonderful people next time.